Allen Park was the venue for Glentorn and Green Island on Saturday in the under 15s National League. Green Island had won each of their opening five matches this season before this one and they got off to a quick start here. The first shot from Taylor Agar was parried but Jack Patton was there to put Green Island in front inside two minutes. And they were two goals to the good just a minute later, this time Adger getting on the score sheet himself after a defensive mix-up. The Glens have only one win from their opening set of fixtures and the lack of confidence did seem to be showing as Lewis Barr headed in a third for the visitors. Adger had played a role in the opening two goals of the game for Green Island and he was looking to get involved again, this time setting up Patrick Kerr but his effort was just off target. Then Daniel McElroy looked to get a goal back before half time for Glen Torrent but saw his long range effort tipped over the bar by Lewis Brown. Green Island started strongly in the second half as they had in the first. The referee ordered a penalty and it was converted by William Conville. 4-0 Green Island. Abdulaziz Ali Asawala collected this long kick from his goalkeeper. Ryan Dalzell did well in the Glen Torrent goal. But John Cush was presented with an open goal to make it 5 0 Green Island. There was to be at least one positive for Glen Torrent later on with Dara Morgan. Netting a consolation goal. But Green Island stay top of the league with this 5 1 win. To say the least, yes. Uh, for a play Green Island, they've started the season really well. They've had some impressive results. Uh, not least today, um, I thought Green Island performed really well. I don't think we were at our best at all in the first half. By that time, I think the damage was done. Uh, we speak a lot about um, trying to minimise mistakes, trying to make less mistakes than the opposition. I think today we used all our mistakes up for the, the uh, season, you know, but it was what it was. I thought the second half we gave a slightly better performance, a wee bit more energy a wee bit more enthusiasm maybe players want the ball a wee bit, bit more in the first half or second half sorry where in the first half you could see when things were going against them heads were starting to drop you know yeah very much so uh, it was a great result um glen Torn, fantastic team good squad try played football about and obviously they come away with a, a 5-1 victory in the end we're, we're overjoyed with that so we are I think the whole team, I and mean, it sounds silly, people will go, uh -huh. cliche there, but we hardly single, single out anybody, do you know what I mean? Everybody played their role, everyone stood out, and uh, more than happy with just how the whole team's working, because it's a team game, as we know, and if we're going to do anything this season, we're going to need the team. So we're not going to count the individuals, we want to depend on the team, and over the years, it's been a, six years maybe on this team, and every year you're just building, building, trying to make them stronger, hopefully learn from it, and you can see the fruit of the labour, you know, that's really paying off, and the whole team are buying into what we're trying to do here at Green Island.